Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Deneen and this is Design by Deneen. Today I'm participating in the Look for Less Challenge for May of 2021. This challenge is hosted by Yami, the Latina next door, and I'm super excited to be participating since it's been a few months since Yami has hosted this challenge. I have a link in the description box to both her channel and the playlist. The Look for Less Challenge is about recreating a high-end look for less. I have chosen to do this storage ottoman from Wayfair, which sells for $159.99 but it's currently on sale for $143.99. But I just couldn't do it in boring old blue. I decided to do mine in a bold animal print. But if you want to do yours in blue, I won't hold it against you. You do you, and I'll be me. To make the base of the storage ottoman, I started out by cutting two strips of poster board, the length of the poster board, and each of them is three inches wide. Then I gave them a coat of Rust-Oleum Gold Metallic Spray Paint. So the first thing you're going to need for this project is a 19 liter or 5 gallon bucket. I bought this one at Home Depot. They came in orange and white, and I would have preferred to have the white one, but it was on a super high shelf, so I got the orange one. Because of the ridges on the upper side, I wanted to even it out so that when I put the fabric on, it didn't look lopsided. So first, I cut a piece of batting just high enough to fit under the lip of the ridge. The best way to apply the batting is with spray adhesive. Make sure that you prepare your work area or you'll be walking on sticky floors for a while. I laid down some paper from the Dollar Tree before I sprayed. Spray the bucket and then wind the batting around the bucket. Just spray a small section at a time. Trim off any excess batting on the bottom. And using packing tape, add one or two rows of tape to compress the batting on the bottom edge. This is where the poster board is going to go and we need it to be about three inches deep. Next I added another piece of batting, covering the entire surface of the bucket including the upper ridges, but leaving the section at the bottom with the tape exposed. fabric that I'm using here is called Velboa and I bought it quite a while ago. I bought about four meters of it and I got it on sale for 70% off. So the amount that I'm using here is about $3 worth of fabric. Note that I drew a line along the long edge of the fabric on the wrong side and I originally did this line at three inches and then I cut it back to two and a half inches. Starting on one end of the fabric, apply spray adhesive. This tends to work better if you give it a couple seconds to dry off after you've sprayed it, so just let it get tacky. Otherwise it goes on wet and it doesn't stick as well. Line up the top edge of your bucket with the line you've drawn on your fabric, and then put your bucket down and roll it, keeping the line lined up. If you mess this up at all, don't worry, it won't, it's not, it's not glued on there tight enough that you can't make adjustments. You'll be able to peel it back and fix it if you, if you screw it up a little bit. Add spray adhesive as you go and just keep rolling the fabric all the way around until you're at the end. I managed to end mine with a finished edge just because the piece of fabric I cut had a nice finished edge. But if you don't have that, you can either fold your edge under or you could add a piece of ribbon to finish that edge off. Next, I turn the bucket right side up, and because the fabric has already been sprayed with adhesive, it's good and sticky, so you'll just need to press it down to the inside edge. If you find that it's not sticking well, just feel free to add more spray adhesive as needed. Thank you. 
for the bottom section of the ottoman we are going to be adding our three inch strip of gold painted poster board so we're going to want to make sure that we have a three inch area to adhere this to so we're going to use packing tape so you're going to take that bottom edge that's loose at this point and it's already got some spray adhesive so just uh, stick it down with the spray adhesive and then you're going to use the packing tape to further compress it and secure it. Apply the spray adhesive to the back side of the poster board and then just wrap it around the bottom section. It might take a little bit of adjusting because there is going to be a slight taper to the bucket but don't worry about it. It doesn't have to bear any weight. It just It's just merely decorative. So the lid is going to act as the cover to the storage ottoman or if we want to use it more as a vanity stool, it's going to act as our seat. I had this piece of foam left over from a previous project as you can tell because it's kind of old and yellowy. Um, if you don't have leftover foam hanging around at your house, you can grab a piece from Walmart. They make a piece that's 12 by 12 by 2 inches and it's about 5 bucks. It's super affordable. So we're going to want to trace around the outside of the lid because we want the foam to cover the whole top of the lid. So trace it and cut it. So we're going to be applying the foam to the top of the lid. So you're going to have the lid positioned as you would if you were putting it on top of the bucket. And then you're going to apply your spray adhesive and you're going to take your pre-cut foam and you're just going to attach it onto the top of the bucket lid. When I cut the piece of fabric for the lid section, I was careful to pay attention to the way that the pattern fell across the piece that I had cut. So originally I was going to use the square piece and just pull the edges over the top of the foam, but I changed my mind and instead I decided to just cut a circle that's slightly larger than the area of the lid and then use a panel piece around the edge. First, you're going to want to cut a slightly larger circle than your original circle, which was the part that was traced around the lid. This is just a Dollar Tree tray that I happen to have hanging around, and it's about the right size, so I just traced my next circle around that. And then we're going to need to glue the foam and the lid onto the fabric, and you're going to want to glue it foam side down. So apply the spray adhesive to the back side of the fabric before putting your foam within the circle. You may need to add a little bit more spray adhesive to the edges and then you're just going to push those fabric edges over and adhere them down to the foam. To make the side panel pieces, I cut out two sections of fabric, keeping the pattern in the same direction as the front. My fabric was not quite wide enough to go around the circumference of the lid, so I needed to make two pieces. I would have preferred to do it in one piece, but no worries, I can make this work. I marked a half inch selvage along each edge and then sprayed the piece with glue and turned in the seam allowances. The fabric sticks really well to itself with the spray adhesive. I aligned the pattern with the top so that it looks intentional, then just continued working around gluing it in place around the outside edge. Make sure that you keep the edge lined up with the top of the lid. Note that there's a small amount of overhang on the bottom. When I was finished, I had a small gap at the back, so I used the center section of the other strip and glued it on as well. On the underside, I tucked in the overhang into the channel area of the lid. So now that the rest of the bucket is looking so fabulous, I can't really leave this kind of Halloween orange color on the inside. So we're gonna line it and we're going to use black felt. So for the piece of lining that goes on the bottom inside of the bucket, I just put a measuring tape in there and it was 10 inches. So I found something which was this old cookie tin that was 10 inches kicking around my craft room and I just traced around that to get the right size. And then to put it into the bucket, I just sprayed the spray adhesive directly into the bottom of the bucket and then applied the felt and it sticks perfectly. 
I also cut a piece of felt lining for the inside of the bucket. It measured 14 inches by 36 inches. And I found the easiest way to apply this is to pre-roll it and then to spray the inside of the bucket with the spray adhesive and then basically just unroll it around until you're complete. I traced around the lid using a silver sharpie because it shows up nicely on the black felt, being careful not to muck up my fabric. Before adding the lining, I went back around and secured all the corners using hot glue. <music> 